Okay, I might find a better one later. This is just for an example. I'm, but I'm really liking that one. <coughs> so what I do is take this and there. Normally I can put anchor or merge layer down. Otherwise it won't it won't read what's in this uh, dotted yellow line. So um I guess I could just click down, try the layer again. Oh, if that doesn't work, try a new layer, and that should be okay. Now yeah, there it is. So, and I would select all and copy. It doesn't copy the font; it'll copy the image and where it's at. <clears throat> See it. Oh, motherfucker. Oh, I hate you. Okay, back to the original. Okay. Let's try it like this. That's why I didn't do it, to anchor that um, layer. Now it should be... And I still don't see it. Motherfucker! Son of a bitch! Anchor layer. There, can't work it down. something different. Bitch paste. <laughs> it's like, ah, like a chunk. I'm not seeing it take, so I have to open a new one up. That'd be all right. Just move the fuck over, please. Pace, just pace. It's not that hard. Just fucking pace. <sighs> okay. Bitch, anchor that fucker. <laughs> Paste. Oh my fuck, alright. Oh um, god, this is pissing me off. <laughs> if you know.
Oh my god, I just opened a new one, damn it. What is your problem? <laughs> it goes black. <laughs> oh my god. Do I have the font in here? Yeah, some of them are not all of them. Oh my god, this is horrible. What the hell? I like that one. Well, it, the computer is really old, so maybe the program isn't quite taking like it used to. Plus, um, I used the program to, to create an IMBU, which was complete on completely different computers. So, this thing has a problem. Because it's a Frankenstein from different computers and different slot machines. It, uh, it, I always end up having to uninstall programs and reinstall them just to get them to work. But it's not for some reason. There. Merge down. There. See, what's really cool about this is I watched. <clears throat> for example, you might find useful. Come on, bitch. Copy it, right? Let's see if it does it. Yes, see? That's what you're supposed to see. I click on it. Whatever you want. But see, this is like one thing I really loved about this program that I can do for my uh, IMU products and product pages. I would, um, you white, right? And then spray paint it white. I, you 
see the little anchor, right? It's an anchor. So that, let me just click on it, and it'll anchor to wherever it's at. Yeah, that's at it. <coughs> then I go to these filter tools, right? Now, for like old photos of the black people and stuff, this is how I correct them. I enhance and sharpen. But for this, I would um, do like four or five different blurs. And you can um, control how much blur you get vertically, horizontally. Okay. And you see how it blurs? So I would do that, and then I would hit paste, and it gives this shadow effect, right? That is my favorite thing to do. Yeah, it like shadow any angle, or just center it. I would blur it like fifteen times and just give this cloud. That would be awesome. It would be white on top of black, or black on top of white. <clears throat> anyway, back to... I'm saying that's what the, that the GIMP can do. And I loved it. I've always loved being able to do that. Okay, so... <clears throat> now that you know that it works, <laughs> paste it. Now what I would do is change the color so that I could see exactly where I would want to locate it. I locate it, and instead of doing airbrush, I'll do like a marker. Right? Mm -hmm. Gives me a good idea of exactly where I want to put it. Say that for example, or something to um, where it would be fitting. That's an eraser. Could even Peter taught it. Peter. Or change its size. Copy that. And great. And, um, <clears throat> use a racer. Opacity, like, um, Level of transparency. I can clear. That didn't work. <laughs> Why didn't I erase things? I'm gonna erase. Oh, I think I know. I have to set it on some pictures. If it's not already a, a PNG file, I have to set it as a PNG file. You can also make uh, moving images with this program.
See how I can, um, see what I'll end up doing is setting it, <clears throat> uh, putting the, um, image where I wanted it and being able to, um, trace it, you know, by taping the paper up to the screen and setting it how I want to, and it'll be blended both with pattern and the font. Switch the color. Paint it or it's let in. And then undo the next one, the same next letter. And what I'll end up doing is because this is just a rough draft. This will be uh, put onto the um, shrinky dink paper that I put in the oven, and I'll use one color to do the pattern and another color to do the name for the lettering, so it stands out a little bit more. 